Yeah. Come on, OG. Come on. Come on. Boom. Boom. Let's go. Come on. Oh, shit. Yeah. No, shit. Bang, what? All around the world, all around the world. Yeah, y'all see that boy, oh shit. Come here. I'm gonna do no capping over here, time not to put a cam. Y'all see this boy? He on a, he on a what? He on a electricity thing over here, man. So boy, come over here. Look at that nick on that boy. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Y'all gotta see it in person to believe it, though. Look at that shit. Look at that bone on that arm, boy. Look at that bone on that arm, boy. Somebody hit me up and was like, yo, when should I inbreed? When should I line breed? When should I outcross? When should I do those things? You feel me? So, boom, man. For my outcrosses, man, you wanna. You want to do outcross breedings when you don't want to do too much. When you don't want no inbreeding in your camp or when you're trying to, uh, like, remove certain a certain look or a certain flaw. Of course, man, if the dog is heavy inbred or heavy line bred, it's going to take a lot more outcrossing to breed out that look that you don't want. You know what I'm saying? So I see people use, like, outcrossing when they don't want to inbreed or when they trying to incorporate another look from another dog, you get what I'm saying? Or if they trying to breed out a certain flaw or a certain look that they don't like about that dog, you feel me? But y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about when outcrossing is done. But that's my that's my take on it, you feel me? Um, line breeding is when you trying to... Line breeding is still similar to end breeding, you feel me? But it ain't heavy, you feel me? That's when you want to bring in a certain look, a certain characteristic to the dog, but you don't want it too close, you feel me? You don't want it too close. Mm -hmm. So that's what line breeding is. And inbreeding is when you're trying to double up on that blood, you're trying to double up on that look, you feel me? So you're trying to double up on that blood, you're trying to double up on that on that look. Yeah. So you want to inbreed because you're trying to, you're trying to make that look or whatever it is that you're trying to get. You know what I'm saying? Look more consistent to what you want. So, a real deal boy. His head, I ain't got a Photoshop, nothing, man. Look at that boy. His body really like that. Oh, shit, it's him. Um, So, me, what do I want to do with my camp? So, y'all know, oh, shit, I produce, oh, shit, and I produce a sister. So, winter, um, and you know, I own profit everybody asking me about profit profit was rehomed a couple months ago like i sold profit a couple months ago because why i have his son i was trying to create another profit but i wanted more bone i wanted more head you know what i'm saying and that's what i got you feel me so and it's shorter profit was a little taller you feel me i wanted a little shorter so that's why you know what i'm saying i sold him and kept his son winter y'all see how much look like okay so when you breeding where you um, see Oh shit, come on. So when you breed it, man, you want your, um, you trying to breed for a consistent look or a certain look, you feel me? Y'all see how old shit look like he got more bone on him, you know what I'm saying? He way more thicker, he got a bigger head, you get what I'm saying? And every pup in a litter is not gonna come out. You know, you out here getting free water. So every pup in a litter is not gonna come out how you expect them, you feel me? So I feel like Winter, she took more after her dad. She took more after her dad. What I mean by dad, that means, um, you know, she took more after his mom, like with the shorter legs. Winter took more after her dad with the longer legs. But she's still small, but she still took after her dad, you feel me? So what I plan on doing with Winter is, I don't want to inbreed her. Um, I don't want to inbreed her because I don't want the genes to be too strong. I want it to be, like, I want the bloodline to be strong, but not too strong. So what I plan on doing is doing a line breeding, you feel me, um, with Winters, because y'all know she's a Mr. Big granddaughter. You get what I'm saying? So the stud that I'm gonna take her to is a Mr. Big grandson, you feel me? And I like that Mr. Big blood. And he's also a crown grandson. So I'm incorporating two 
I'm doubling up on a Mr. Big Blood and I'm adding Crown Blood to my program. They got your glasses. I but yeah, Winter would be going to her cousin, so that's a line breeding. So why am I doing a line breeding? Because Winter, the dog has shit. In, the dog has shit in his bloodline. He has a certain look. He has what I need to to elevate my camp to bring it to my camp. So Winter lacks a little bit of bone. She lacks a little bit of shortness. She lacks a head. You get what I'm saying? I feel like doubling up on that Mr. Big Blood. No, 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 no. Oh shit, come here. Get over here. Get over here. Ah. You know when you double up on that Mr. Big Blood, you you gonna get that, you gonna get that heavy bone, man. You gonna get that heavy bone while incorporating that crown blood, man. That breeding gonna click so hard. So that's why I'm doing a line breeding because that's why I'm doing a line breeding because I don't want a heavy inbreed, but I also wanna incorporate or bring it some some of the features that my female lacks. You, that's why I'm doing that. Uh, that's why I'm choosing to do a line breeding versus an inbreeding with a uh, with winter man. Um, but I'm not gonna tell y'all the stuff who I'm taking winter to, man. Y'all just gonna see when it go down. Winter finna be nine months. She still haven't had her. Uh, she still haven't had her first heat yet. So if she come in heat about eleven months, you feel me? And I feel like she's ready. That'll be her first breeding. You feel me? Um. But, man, y'all just stay tuned. That's going to be one epic breeding, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. Oh, shit, still is up for stud. 650, 325 to lock him in. This boy is ready to work. He's ready to work. Your female lacking shortness. She lacking bones. She lacking head. She lacking a thick rib. She lacking fronts. She lacking color. This your boy right there. That's your boy. Oh, shit. 620, 650 stuff. 325 to lock in. If you want to lock them in, hit me up on Instagram. I'm going to stop putting my number on YouTube because a lot of people be uh just hit my phone and I don't like that, man. If you ain't trying to really do business, man, it's just a waste of time. And I ain't trying to sound disrespectful, but, man, a lot of people just want to hit your phone to talk, man. And time is money. You me? Instagram, if you want to like your old shit, at Time Notch Bully Camp. If you ain't got an Instagram, what you doing breeding? You feel me? You need an Instagram. Go make that Instagram. Hit me up on Instagram, Time Notch Bully Camp, so you can inquire about that boy old shit. And that's it for the video, Time Notch Family. We out.